Uh, my name's Carl Schramm. This is my wife, Nancy Schramm. Nancy Schramm. And uh, we're from uh, Wasilla, Alaska. That's a town about 40 miles north of Anchorage. And uh, we're both retired. We both do a lot of RVing in and out of Alaska. A lot and of dog sports. Lots of dog dogs. sports. So um, lots of traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've done the Alaska Highway 45, 50 times. Somewhere around there. Somewhere a around lot. There. A lot. Uh, enough that it's long ago ceased to be a novelty. Uh, so. And that's part of the reason we started looking at a renegade because of the highway. Yep, became 3,000 miles from Wasilla to Mountain Home to IWS to buy a renegade. To pick uh, it up, we ordered it. We ordered it and then we'll be driving 3,000 miles back home with it. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered a, um, a uh, classic, right? Yeah. yeah, a custom classic, Renegade Custom Classic with a uh, DD-13 engine, Cascadia 113 Freightliner chassis. And we pretty much picked what we wanted, what was mm -hmm. important to us, or what we felt would be important to us. We pictured, purchased, function over pretty. N not that the Renegade's not pretty, I don't mean that, but you know, you look at some of the um, high-end class A's. A's, and there are a lot of glitz and stuff, and I think ours is beautiful, but ours is built better. Um, we went with a lot of the upgrades you don't see. Just Ex by looking at it, you don't see them. Exactly. Like, uh, uh, the, insulation. the insulation. One year, one year on a trip, we left uh, about mid March, yeah, early mid March, and our first stop it was 32 below zero. That's so, <laughs> the coach we were in couldn't handle 32 below. So we wound up, you know, having to get a get a room. But that's the type of weather that we we deal with. Uh, usually, when we leave in March or early April, it's it's below zero, sometimes well below zero, and lots of way, uh, lots of the, uh, the first initial stops that we that we make, northern Alaska, Canadian Yukon, that sort of thing. It's cold going through the Yukon, northern Yukon so territory. So we needed a coach that was obviously well insulated, one where we could carry water inside. You know, the, the Renegade's got a 150 gallon water tank that's inside the coach. If it's warm enough to be inside, then the water's gonna be warm enough to flow. We got uh, heaters to keep everything warm, all the tanks warm, heat strips, a marine heater, uh, incredible insulation. So it, it should handle the cold pretty darn good. Um, we also... I think and it's pretty inside. It's pretty inside. <laughs> <laughs> and we... Uh, we, we cross a lot of mountain ranges going to, depending on where we go, a lot of our trips are, you know, to the, well, not a lot, but usually to Ohio, sometimes to the East Coast. We cross, you know, three to four major mountain ranges one way. Well, it seems like we're always, well, obviously we cross the Canadian Rockies. And it seems like for some reason we end up going through the Colorado Rockies and it's the other motorhome. When we bought the other motorhome in Arizona and was bringing it home, we said, well, we've never been to the north face of the Grand Canyon. Let's go there. <laughs> we must have had 50 cars behind us. Yeah. And we weren't towing anything. It was yeah. gas. And really, there were probably 50 cars because climbing up that mountain, it just, poor little thing struggled. I think we did at most 20 miles an hour. Yeah. So we needed a coach that could handle the mountains, that could handle just the sheer distance. Uh, our average trip is probably at least 10,000 miles. I mean. Heck, just coming down here to pick it up and go home is 6,000 miles. Mm -hmm. So our average trip is around 10,000 miles. Sometimes we go twice a year. So it doesn't take long to rack up a lot of miles on a coach. So we needed something that could keep us comfortable, that could, you know, withstand the, just the, the drudgery, the, the sheer miles that you would put on the thing. Plus, let's face it, uh, sometimes in, in northern Alaska and Yukon, the roads are less than desirable. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of what's called frost eaves. A lot Technically, of, they're called thaw bulbs. Yeah, that's the Canadian term. Frost eaves and oh. thaw bulbs. And uh, 
you know, a lot of pavement damage as a result. So, I mean, you're, you're doing a lot of pounding. Stuff shakes loose, stuff breaks. Uh, and we needed a, uh, we needed a motorhome that would be able to, you know, handle those conditions. We wanted a rugged built motorhome. Yeah. That was our priority, uh, was extremely well built, could take bad roads, could take, you know, bad weather and be just very well built. And we believed that was the Renegade and that's why we ended up with that. Yeah, that's why, we, that's why we're down here. We do do a lot of dog events. We, we, we go to dog shows, we go to dog performance events. We, we do a lot of stuff involving dogs and those sorts of events are all over the country. We, we like to go to that sort of stuff. A lot of those events are held at, well, like lure coursing, they're held in fields, so you're, mm -hmm. you're essentially dry camping, boondocking. Yeah, you're not pulling into a large convention. Well, some of the big shows, the actual confirmation shows, are in big convention centers, but the sporting events are in big fields, so you go out and you want a motorhome that you can pull into that field and feel like you're at home and that we, we believe that's, well, that's one of the reasons we bought the Renegade. We were in Denver, Colorado last year at the Whippet National and there's a couple of Renegade dealers down there. So we went down and looked at them and I think it was the Verona. Yeah, and, 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 and you, you know, even going back further, I think Renegade came to mind, this is what, about 10 years ago? We were 2007. A, we were at an RV show in Hershey and we saw a Renegade and we said, wow, that's that's pretty, that's different, that's cool. It's different, yeah. But, you know, we moved on. It wasn't, at the time, something we mm -hmm. thought we would need. And when, like Nancy said, when we were in Colorado, we're thinking, you know, we, the motorhome we have is a nice motorhome, but, man, it's just, it's, it's struggling. It's struggling to, to handle the type of travel that we do. And the Renegade had caught our attention. Yeah. So, like I said, we went, and I think it was the Verona LE and the Verona. They had those two. And we looked at those and thought, wow, those are really nice. Talk to the guy. And, and then we knew we were going to Ohio because that's where my brother lives. So we started checking the map for dealers. <laughs> And we wanted one, of course, closer, and we were going to uh, Indiana, so I said, we found Renegade on the dealer map. You click on, it says Bristol, Indiana is a dealer. Cool. So we did our thing at, at Napanee, and the next day we went up to Bristol, Indiana, <clears throat> only it wasn't the dealer, it was the factory. And so when we finally got people to talk to us in that, we got a tour of Renegade's factory and ended up talking to, I believe his name was Tim. And we probably talked to him for well over two hours and he talked us out of the Verona and the LE. Not that Verona it was a LA. bad coach. No, he didn't. He said it, isn't a, it is a good coach and the Valencia is a good coach, but for what you want and for what you are saying you would like to have, you need to go with the Classic, because with the Classic, you can practically build it from scratch and do everything that you want. And you really do want the insulation, you want the uh, frame and stuff to be heavy duty and all this. So after talking to him, for like I said, for a long time, and um, he said, we have dealers everywhere, but I want you, since you are on your way home to Alaska, you'll be going sort of that way, divert to Mountain Home, Idaho, and go see Chuck at IWS. <laughs> because he says, probably one of the sharpest guys I've ever dealt with. He, he, he knows that motor home. And he said, he's the one that I'm going to recommend you go see. So we did. And we showed up here, we met with Chuck, we talked to him for a long time. Oh, oh no, we had it made. We got here the day, oh, yeah. well, you guys probably weren't here. They, I don't know if they still do, but once a month they do um, like a lunch for all the employees and then they have these games and stuff. <laughs> so we got to participate. We got to be judges in the games, which kind of puts you on the spot. But we did all that and we met Marty and we were here all day. We hadn't intended on being here all day. <laughs> and we told him when we walked through the door, look, we're just looking. We're not, we're not even sure we want to buy a Renegade. We, we don't know. And the one thing I will say, we've looked at a lot of motorhomes from dealers and stuff. I never felt one ounce of pressure to buy, not one. We've kind of felt like we walked into a family, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, they treated us. You know, and Chuck took time to 
discuss everything with us, and he never said, "Well, you know, you need to buy this. You need." But he just said, "This, you know, this is yeah. Here it this, is. This is what we have. This, you know, this particular model. This is the type of coach I had. Him being Chuck, and uh, you know, showed us everything. Talked to us. Told us why he thought it was important." why it would probably work or wouldn't work for you know what we wanted. Yeah, I've said a couple times, no, you don't need that. You yeah. don't need that. So And um, so we you know, we left with a good feeling and and uh, we got home and we talked about it and we, you know, we ultimately ended up talking to Marty and We wavered I'm gonna tell you we wavered. We wavered because of the cost. We had to sit down and really think about this and make a decision and what we wanted to do with our life from a certain point forward. And then we got the call nobody wants, that a friend had died suddenly. And I looked at Carl and I said, you know, he was our age. If we're gonna do it, let's do this now <laughs> before we die. And we ended up yeah, we calling called Marty. and talking to Marty. And you know, we, like, like I said later. earlier, we were able to, you know, just go down the list of all the things that were important to us for the type of travel that we do and the things that we wanted to do. And, you know, they were able to meet them at what we considered was a, you know, a doable price. And the rest, as they say, is history. I, I think more than anything, it was the treatment we got. When oh, we yeah, came yeah. here, you know, like I said, we, no pressure to buy, none. And if you've ever bought anything that's more than 10 bucks, there's always this pressure and there was never any pressure and when we left here we felt like kind of like we'd left family and so we were very comfortable we still feel that way yeah and we, we got the impression and, and certainly reinforced by picking up the coach that you know service customer service is important mm -hmm. and we're at that age in life where you know customer service doesn't meet our expectations we just walk out the door life's too mm -hmm. short to deal with you know hassles from people can't get this fixed. We don't have time for you to do this. You know, we don't have time to fix this or time to fix that. Or they you try know. to pressure you into buying yeah. something you really don't want. And they, we have never to this day had that. Uh, ever. You know, you buy something and then they forget about you. So, no. Customer service is important to us. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we're we're at that age where customer service isn't good. We're out of here. We were here in June of 2017 okay. when so we came down here almost a year and yeah. we didn't make the decision until September. I mean even after our friend died we still had to think about it but that was kind of the initial push to let's let's sit down and do this and that's when we made the call. It was in September I think we started yeah, and the I ordering think, process. You know we completed the order in, in September. It took a, took a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, that's... Because, you know, you, you got a lot of overwhelming choices, so you think about it, and, you know, then you call Marty back, and, well, how about this instead of this? And then, you know, so it's a lot of back and forth about what you want. Well, you change little things, you yeah, know, yeah. you get to think about. And I remember when the order had been completed, we felt good. Marty says, yeah, we feel good. It wasn't an hour later <laughs> that I waited to look for him. I said, wait a minute. Is that backsplash in that kitchen? Is that, it says stainless steel. Is that like a solid sheet of stainless steel? <laughs> Stuff so like that. So we had that. to call Marty, and he says, yeah, it is. I said, oh, no, time out. No, no, no. I don't want, I, I, no, that's too masculine. <laughs> so we went with the tile. <laughs> and he was, I mean, it wasn't like, oh, crap, they're calling again, you know, so. You know, and after the order was done, they said, well, you know, tentatively, Tentatively, we're looking at uh, April to have it completed, so from September to April, and it was it was pretty close. End of we said end of April, yeah. and I think it was ultimately uh, completed right around the end of April, the first part of May. Yeah, I guess it had been here a week before we got here, so yeah. something like that. Yeah, so I mean everything from the ordering process to having it built in Bristol to getting it out here was pretty much as, as they said it would be, you know. This is how long it will take. Uh, we didn't run into any, we didn't run into any, uh, any glitches, did we? The only glitch Marty called with was the seat. We had ordered the, I guess they're air ride seats, and the passenger seat, uh, who's it most? Flex Steel sent the wrong one Yeah, that to wasn't Renegade's fault. No, it wasn't their fault. 
And he says, well, here's your three options. And we said, well, we really want it, so we don't want a credit. We don't want, it, you know, we'll probably be back through here in the fall. And so we were going to have to pick it up then. And then, and then again, here, after we're all done, Carl says, well, wait a minute. If they're going to send it to Indiana, why can't they just send it to Mountain Home, Idaho? So contacted Marty, and lo and behold, it's in the motorhome. Yeah. They sent it here. I just so. sent it here and installed it here. So yeah. it was a piece of cake. No glitches. Customer service. Yeah, good customer service. No glitches at all. Well, one of the things that, that we liked was Chuck said, you know, anytime you guys are in the area and you have an issue, because you bought from us, he says, I guarantee we will take the time to fix whatever issues. Uh, that they can fix. Yeah, that they can fix. You know, when you come through, if you call us that day ahead of time and say, you're in Calgary, we're in Calgary, you know, and our air conditioner doesn't work or, you know, the leveling jacks don't work or, or whatever, just give us a call and, you know, a lot of times we can be pretty busy, but we'll make time to... To, to deal with your issue. You I know, think when the warranty is that the from home. the manufacturers too, we've read over as much as you can read when it comes to warranty information. Um, we, like you said, we have not had to use them yet because they officially took possession yesterday. <laughs> uh, we've been in it since Monday, but from everything we've read and have learned about the manufacturers of the various components, I feel pretty comfortable with it. That's one of the reasons we went with the Renegade because it's the freight liner and the engine and everything. Everything's beefy. And I just like... And even it, the it, components inside, yeah. all that. We're pretty comfortable with all that. So. And it turns out Idaho is pretty much, no matter where we go in the lower 48, except maybe the California, we try to avoid that anymore. Yeah. Uh, wherever we go, Idaho is sort of on the way, so if there's an issue, I, I like the fact that Chuck said, you know, if you do have a problem and we can fix it, give us a call and we will fix it and again you guys can be on your way. So that part of customer service mm -hmm. is important to us. The promise of if you do have a problem, you know, we're not going to say come back in six months, we'll, we'll take care of you now. I would recommend nobody but IWS if they're looking at, don't know anybody buys tow trucks or any of that stuff, but if they're looking at the Renegade Motorhome, I would, I would literally verbally push them towards IWS um, because, well, the, the dealer that we talked to in um, Denver, it, it was almost like, okay, I'll, let's go, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Here, from the, like I said, from the minute, well, from the minute we walked in Renegade's door to the minute we got here and walked out, wow. I, I can't, I've never had that customer service. And yeah. I'm not 20 years old, so I I've mean, been they, around a while. I can't say enough. This is the only place that I would recommend somebody come yeah, to. Yeah, the, the guy from the guy in Renegade who, you know, took the time to show us around, even though we had showed up unexpectedly. I'm sure he was busy, took time to show us around, to, you know, the time that uh, you guys spent with us when we were here last June. Uh, it's just been, you know, nonstop customer service. It's been, mm -hmm. it's been a great feeling. It's been like family, so. Service that I really haven't gotten anywhere else. So I would definitely tell anybody, listen, if you're thinking about buying a motorhome, if you're thinking about buying a Renegade, or if you're thinking about buying a, a trailer Any or whatever. Motorhome. You know, come to IWS. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is our third motorhome. They'll they'll treat you. This will they'll be treat our you last. right. So yeah, we've 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 had you know motorhomes before, so we know what we you know what we speak, and this has been great customer service. And yeah, and like I said, I'm not just saying it because we're being filmed. We've told everybody at home and stuff. It, we felt like a small part of their family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been that, good. Of course, I've had family members who don't treat me as well sometimes, but seriously, I'm, I'm, I mean that sincerely. We just can't say enough about the customer service. Regardless of who you are, from the salesperson, Marty, to the owner, to everybody around Yeah, here. everybody we've dealt it's with at the counter, the Tammy, to the whole crew. It's yeah. just been great. Yeah.